G'day everybody, Steve and Kaz from Mud Ducks 4 Wheel Drive Touring. I don't know if Kaz is in the shot, but if she is, that's her there. It's just after Christmas, it's Boxing Day, and we're, uh, we've headed off on a bit of an excursion. We don't really know where we're going. We're on the Bucket's Way at the moment, heading towards Gloucester, and um, we're going to head through Gloucester and into the bush and we really don't know where we're planning to go probably through the Wirrakimbi area the Sells River we may wind up out near Warhope and then possibly back to uh, Q Swans Crossing and then come home again it's a couple of day trip uh, Andrew and Kerry that uh, you may remember from our uh, big excursion are in front of us at the present time they were uh, and uh, their daughter Charlotte the friend they're um, come for a couple of days as well so we've got no idea what we're going to film what we're going to see what we're not going to see so play it by you guys so um so i give you a bit of an intro to what's happening anyway that's about it for now and uh we'll show you what we can show you so sit back relax have a drink and enjoy the ride cheers Be too far away? Shouldn't be too far away, I think. We, of course, people have no idea where the hell we're going. We're in the Tappet Tops National Park or Tappan Tops National Park, Nodding Bull Road. Uh, we've just pulled up at a nice sort of a stopping area. To have a bit of a look. Stretch our legs, grab a drink. And it's the first actual place we've had room to stop. We've got a wider section here. Nice forest roads, easy to drive, easy to look at. That one there, Kariki Road, not where we're going. Eh. haven't done a lot of filming yet guys because this is what it's been like just ordinary forest roads so, that's the two trucks I've got a stick under mine I'll dig that out in a minute now we stopped earlier on to air down just to make the roads a bit nicer to run on I'm running 32 in the camper 32 in the back of the cruiser 28 in the front so I'm going to grab a drink out of the fridge dig that stick out from underneath and we'll press on Again, 
We've just arrived at Dingo Tops camping slash rest area. Now it's in the National Park. I'll give you a look at it. That is our setup. Just pulled up beside the road. Haven't even weared our legs down yet. Not sure I'm going to. That's our camp. Moving up here, we've got Andrew's camp. And this is going to be home for the night. So, this is marked differently on two maps. One map says it's a day use area, another map says it's a camping area. So, we actually don't know. Uh, we've claimed this part of the road. That's, we've got a little shelter, we've got a firebox. Andrew and Crowd are set up already. How good is that? That's where we may or may not have a fire. It's bloody 33 degrees here, so we may not. We'll see. This is our camp. So we'll obviously move over to where Andrew and Co are shortly. It's about five in the afternoon, or thereabouts. So we still got a good three hours of decent light and sun being daylight saving in New South Wales. So we've deployed the solar panels purely and simply because you've got the power, why not use it? There's a walk down here, red cedar walk, steep grade, 45 minutes return, photographical area, no dogs. Not sure what it means if I'm allowed or not. I may or may not bring you down there. This is only overnighter. So uh, we've come for a look. A couple of other camps set up over there. There's a monster great tree cut down here. I said it was done a very long time ago. But uh, it's huge. Well, it was huge. That is big. I uh, don't know if it was done to chainsaws or hand saws. Here's your day, well, it looks like a day use area, but I reckon you could like a tent in there. Another fire ring. Pretty little spot, this. What else have we got? Here's the camp kitchen area. They're in a national park here, so there you go, they provide your barbecues. Looks like they're gas ones, that's pretty cool. That's the info, National Parks Board. And you sort of knew we were in a national park, just by looking around and you see the bollards. Oh, that's pretty nice. And we're following a book that Ron and Viv Moon published, God knows how long ago. And it's it's a little bit vague, so we're hoping for the best. Uh, it's the road in, out, Edinburgh Falls, 32 k. So I think we're heading that way tomorrow. There's your amenities block down there. And over here we've got some old, old machinery, steam-driven something. So uh, that's pretty, pretty cool. Not sure what it was. It's got a very big wheel on it that obviously ran a belt. Uh, hey, bit of old logging history there. Some of the old gear they used to drag stuff out with. Yeah, we're in ding dingo tops, so it looks all right. Pretty nice area. I don't look as good as this, but anyway, that's um, that's about the guts of it for now. We're not going to do any cooking tonight either. Being just after Christmas, there is more nibbles and 
munchies and stuff left over from Christmas Day when you can poke a stick at. So it's going to be cheese and crackers and dips and stuff for tea tonight. We did in Gloucester stop at the pub for a nice lunch, so we're pretty full. So uh, yeah, that's 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 pretty well to go. Not sure what I'll get done tonight if I shoot any video or not. But uh, yeah, that's the end of day one. Not a lot of footage in that. So uh, I'll put together what I can and we'll see how we go. Anyway, it's probably enough of me rabbiting on, guys. Catch up with you just that little bit later. Right, we'll make I don't know where the lookout was, but there was a track went off to the left, off to the right, just before the 30k mark, 34k mark, so I could have been there. Oh, no, am I? Yesterday, you go up to the next intersection coming up to the right, and the lookout goes up in that way. That'd be Raleigh Forest Road? Uh, oh yeah, it would be, yeah. Now that's what I've got up on the on my screen, Rolling Forest Road, which we just about on top of, I think. Yeah, that looks like a little bit of place over that, from what I can see, so uh, that'd be my guess, you know. Yeah, Rolling Drop Lookout, 1.2 kilometres, two to two wheel drive vehicles can drive weather only, so that's what we're looking for. Good morning, day two of our excursion around the uh, Sells River, where it can be, type of area. We camped at Dingo Tops last night, turned out you can camp there, so that's all good. Got up this morning, flat battery on the cruiser. I don't know why, but I'm going to assume that the Red Ark on the camper trailer pulled enough out of the battery of the truck last night to. Uh, prevent it from starting. That shouldn't happen, but it seemed to. Anyway, we jumped it off at second battery and it's all fine. So, uh, I've got to let it charge up for part of a day and then I'll switch it off. Now I'll disconnect the battery because I've got a myriad of dash lights on that are uh, usually need a reset by uh, disconnecting the battery. So, we'll, uh, we'll get to that a little bit later in the day. We'll let it charge for a while first. Anyway, we're heading up to uh, Rolly's Rock Lookout where we've successfully missed a turn. So we've done a Yui and 
heading back there. Do a usually camper trail on not easy, but anyway, that's what we've done. So we're heading back there and we'll go for a look at that. And I'll uh, take some footage of that, hopefully. Anyway, that's just a little update. I uh, was too keen to get the truck started to video the processes of what went on and so on. So um, normally I would probably document everything that happens, good and bad, but I didn't, so uh, that's life. All right, that'll do for this little update. We'll talk to you soon, I guess. Right, we've come up to Rolly's Rock Lookout Car Park. There's not a lot of room here, particularly for campers. It takes a bit of a turn to turn around in there. That's pretty well all the area we've got to turn around in. And you go back down this road here to get back out. Which is, you can do it in high range. I did it in high range with no traction control because I've still got all the lights on on the dash. And I've now shut the truck off, disconnected the battery, so it should reset. We'll come back, connect it all back up, and hopefully it'll start. It will start off the accessory battery of two jumper leads. So we're not too worried about it just yet. Can't lock it. But anyhow, that's how it is. There's nobody else up here, so other than Andrew and crew. So uh, we'll go and check it out. As a precaution, I've disconnected all the power cables from the trailer so it's not trying to draw any power from the battery on the truck anyway it reckons it's 45 minute return walk this so uh, we'll um we'll go and have a look right this is the slope we're faced with it's 430 meters to the lookout apparently reckons 45 minutes to walk it it's a bit steep but uh, shouldn't be that bad that's Charlotte waving. So we'll show you more of this as we go along. It is a fairly steep grade, but we are moderately fit. So uh, we'll head up there and check it out as we go. Just a quick look back. We only walked 50 metres. That's how far down and steep it is. All right, halfway up, we're faced with this. We figure we're halfway. That's what we've come up so far. Andrew leading the charge. Charlotte, you're slow. Apparently Charlotte's slow. Yeah. She's fairly steep and rough going, but onwards we go. All right, I'll give National Parks their due. They said it's steep, and it is. But I reckon... I'm getting pretty close. Excuse the puffing, guys. Even though I am moderately fit, this is pretty bloody steep. But we've got to be getting close. We're coming up to some steps. So, the management vehicle tracks finish here. We've got naturally occurring concrete steps. So I reckon we've got too far to go. So I'll give you a look when we get there. Just about at the top now. Going to this naturally occurring metal structure. I 
Oh, what a cracker. <sighs> Don't know if I need to do a lot of talking about this, guys, but this is Jim. view from up here is just an absolute cracker worth the walk no, that's now I thought about bringing a drone up but I have a feeling you're not supposed to fly drones in national parks so I didn't anyway that's a view right around it So, you know, that's a view from Rolly's Rock Lookout. Came back down from the hill. As you can hear, the truck's running. I had the battery completely disconnected. I came back, I checked the voltage on the multimeter. The voltage on the start battery is 12.3. So I connected it back up, kicked it in the guts, and away it went. So we were laughing. The lights on the dash had gone off. Uh, the truck should be back to its normal self. So as a precaution for pretty well the rest of the trip, I'm going to keep unplugging the leads when I pull up of a night. I doubt whether to bother it during the day, but of a night, I think so. So we're back in action. So that's a bonus. I'll catch up with you a little bit later. Blue Knob Lookout Picnic Area. We've arrived at what's called the Blue Knob Lookout and Picnic Area. Found the picnic area further down. I'll give you a look at that in a minute. But there's a, a fire tower here, which is where we're going to go up for a look in a second. Let's show you around the road here where we're all parked. A bit of a loop. That's the picnic area down there, which we have no need to go to. So it's just a loop to get up here. And look, one of my pet hates, guys, really, seriously. What is that doing there? Really, stop doing this stuff. There again, if you're watching my channel, you people do not do this stuff. Up on the fire tower, walking around it. Another awesome view. Not Andrew, the view around the area. Andrew himself, not such an awesome view. Although I think Kerry likes him. Thanks Somebody's got to like him. Might as well be Kerry. That is a whiz bang view, that. No, it wasn't all my paper. Now we've gone right around in a big circle. I still got paper in the car. Not sure how much of this tower is used as a fire spotting tower these days. Most of the gear has gone from it. There's like nothing in there, no benches. That's Charlotte waving. 
uh, no benches or stuff anymore. So I don't know if they use it or not, but anyway, it's not a bad sort of a spot. There's a pretty good view down there. There she goes. Back down the hill from where was it? Mm. We don't know. <laughs> blue, blue Ridge, I think it is. No, blue Knob. Blue Knob. Blue, blue Knob. Blue Knob with Fire, Tear, and Lookout. We're coming back down the hill from there. And for the sake of it, we'll just put them in low range, first gear, just let it walk down. It's got a camper on the back, give it a little push, so it's cruising down. Uh, yeah, we don't need low range here, but we're uh, just doing it anyway because we can. So, uh, yeah, all good. Causeway, the Causeway Road is named after, I'd imagine. It's been a low range sort of a track to get down here, not difficult by any means, but um, low range just to keep you under control, particularly the camper trailer on it. So that is the Causeway area in there. Looks very nice, pleasant. We're running through it. So there's been a few good floods here over the years. One of these spikes are bent over. Probably used to hold a side rail of some description. But it's pretty pleasant today. I don't think I'm too far behind you. No, you probably wouldn't, mate. Yeah, you're right behind me. I can see you. I told you I wasn't too far behind you. Off you goes. Moving some trees off the track. Or part of four row two wings. Hey, <laughs> he's the bustle 
tell you what. <laughs> It's Andrew, he's got the muscles. Through there is what we think is Maxwell's Flat Campground. We're not going to walk across this, we'll check it out. This is a little causeway, hence the name Causeway Road. This is the track we're looking at coming down to there. It's a, this is, we're about two or three hundred metres away from where we think is the campground. This is a boggy section. Hello. Hello. This is what we have to negotiate. Yeah, Andrew's a bit worried because Andrew's only got a 100 series, so he's a bit concerned that it won't make it. But he's in the lead, so he's, he's got to go first. Well, I reckon he'll make it, no trouble. Straight through there. Uh, he's going straight through there. So we're going to check that out. Uh, right, so is Andrew about to come through the bog hole? Pretty straightforward in the end. Sliding campers. straightforward in the end. There you go, see, it's not always meet the wheel, Hello. as you can tell. I'm not sure what Andrew's doing. Anyway, we've been here about an hour and a half. Got here at two o'clock. We were gonna drive on today, but we're in no rush, so we've chosen to camp here. I'll give you a look at Maxwell's flat. Uh, you would have seen the road we drove. There's another campsite there. So because we're a little bit late getting here compared to everybody else, that's our camp today. Uh, we've chosen to put the two campers like that we've got a fireplace if we want it later because of my early starting problem I threw the solar blanket down onto the ground and hooked that to the start battery probably won't be an issue now because we believe it was more of a camper would have caused it the back of the camp, back of Andrew's trailer. So yeah, this is Maxwell's flat. So not what you call perfectly flat, but it's not bad. That's the amenities block. Probably coming out of the sun, probably a bit easier to see. We probably didn't need to do any battery charging as such. But as you've got time, and you've got a nice sunny day, why not? So that's the campground. There's a little creek down here. I'll give you a look at that. Hopefully some dash cam footage earlier today will show up what the driving was like. We actually did some low range stuff. So 
little creek. Temperature outside is quite hot. And down here is quite pleasant. So that's basically a look at the area we're in. I'm not sure what else there is to tell you. Pretty sure we're still in National Park. There doesn't seem to be any signs that say you are. So we'll, we'll figure that out.